Hey guys. Get that. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. Give me a buffalo nickel. Give me that buffalo juice. Oh, I gotta keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. A Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my god, it's freaking gorgeous. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got an IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. Howdy folks, it's been a bit since I got a chance to make a metal detecting video. It's been probably a month. I just haven't been able to get out and either detect or find any useful places. And I'm not sure I'm at such a great place today. I've only got a couple of hours. I'm just at a little school down the street from me that I've been to several times before. Uh, had intended to get out and uh, go back to um, the old um, boarded up schoolhouse that I found that seated dime a few episodes back. But um, had an unexpected visit from uh, um, basically one of my daughters that's uh, eight hours away in college I was out in the driveway and she just pulled up in the driveway out of the blue and when you have somebody that's family that that means that much to you you change your plans <laughs> so uh, especially when they're eight hours away and you don't get to see them on a daily basis uh, so I didn't get to do that video um, but I had a better day I got to spend the day with her instead so um, you guys just didn't get the video out of it. So let's see what we can come away with today in a couple of hours at a school. Maybe we'll get something good, maybe we won't, but we don't know until we try. All right, I've gone a whopping six feet or so. I found a couple of pieces of trash. Whoops, almost dropped it, but I just found a dime. If you could see it for my gloves here. Here, there you go. I dropped it. It was surface fine too. It's right on the surface. It's again on the surface because I just dropped it. But it's a start. It's something. Let's see what else we can get. Alright, we got something here that was deep. I think I've already, it was down here. Thought I moved it. Did I? Maybe it's still down there. It's really deep. It was coming in like a 32 or something. Fairly faint too. Uh, probably garbage. Not what I was expecting though. The ground is pretty darn hard here. It's dry. Oh, there's something right there. I got myself a Jefferson Penny. Is that it? That was it. A 1960 something. What does that say? 69, 60, something like that. Almost uh, down there in a wheat. He almost got my, me a wheat scent. That's not bad. We'll take it. I wasn't even expecting to get that. So we'll, we'll take it, I guess. This was a killer signal coming in really shallow. And check this out. Make sure there's not more, but I got three quarters. That one is not a state quarter. That one is. That one is too. So, let me double check. That's all half inch deep, but we got ourselves three quarters. That'll pay for gas here. I got my little daughter's uh, Toyota Matrix, so it sips the gas. So, that paid for the gas. Alrighty, had me another super shallow signal, and it looks like we got us another quarter here. This one. <laughs> I can't tell. Oh my gosh. It's an 80 something or other. Super shallow. I'm up next to some uh, power lines here, so my detector is chattering like crazy. I'm going to have to change over to 10 kilohertz and 
see if that makes a difference so let's get back at it got me another quarter just barely below the surface of the ground here I mean I hardly had to actually just move a little of the grass out of the way so apparently it is quarter day I'll uh, take it you know it's gas money I guess maybe I'll get an ice cream later all right so let me turn my headphones off Show's kind of deep. That might be misleading, so let's find out what this is. Turn my headphones back on, and uh, I'll turn you guys back on in just a minute after I get a plug uh, dug up for us. All right, got the plug dug up, and it is still in the hole. Well, I missed it bad, didn't I? And I knocked it out. There it is right there. That was just a penny. I'll be dang, that was just a penny. Uh, 60 something, another 60, like a 63. But uh, hey, that's, you know, something. We got her. Well, I just got this in that hole there. Uh, I filled in some of the dirt already, but it was really deep. Um, not something I expected to find at this location. Uh, it is a square nail kind of thing, but I think the way this head is done, that might be a horseshoe nail. At least that's what I think it is. That's pretty cool if it is. Didn't expect to find that here. This is not an area that I would have thought to be that old, So, but you never know. We're going to keep going though. Alrighty, as you can see, this is like a one inch deep plug there. Got ourselves yet another quarter. You know, we'll take it. I thought I had another signal over here, but since that was on straight up and down like this, yeah, that was causing it to double tap. When you got a coin straight up and down, it does weird things. You'll hear multiple signals through there. Uh, it's just a weird way that that metal causes that inductive current when it's straight up and down like that. It's, it's weird. But So I got one here and there was like a ghost that sounded like it was over here, but it was really just because that thing was straight up and down right there. We got her. I think that's what, two bucks now and quarters or something like that? All right, here's another one. I already got my plug started right there. I'm right on top of the plug. Interesting numbers, that almost looks bottle capish except a little bit higher so really curious to see what that one's gonna be and since I got my plug already done here I just got to put the I gotta watch my detectors right behind me I'm gonna step on it all right let's see what do we have something in the hole Right there, something in the plug. I'd love to find silver, but I know that's not going to happen. Oh, dang it, I keep finding pennies with you guys. It's 60s, I keep finding these 60s pennies with you guys. That is hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to stop letting you guys watch. I want to find more quarters or something. <laughs> That's funny, though. We'll take it, I guess. Well, the quarter came with friends this time. There's one there. And a whole bunch over there. Looks like I dug into an ant den. Didn't mean to. Bunch up and down there though. So we'll take our quarter and we will extract ourselves from here. Another state quarter though. Or a not state quarter, an old one. Not old enough, it's not silver. I got something in the hole that's not silver. 
it's kind of a gold look <laughs> it's not gold though I'm pretty sure um, I'd, I'd probably be doing cartwheels right now but I think it's something I have not found in a long time it was coming up kind of like a quarter maybe a hair higher but uh, take a look see if you can see, uh, see what I think I see and I apologize that the wind is really strong but right there doesn't that look like a little gold sticking through does it yeah yeah, yeah right there might be like a Sacagawea dollar there we go look at that check that out oh it's not a Sacagawea that's like a William Taft or something like that one of those presidential ones um, Jackson Andrew Jackson that is a cool find definitely haven't found one of those in quite a while that is my first dollar coin for the entire year I think but I have not been in those places where I find a lot of clad so you know I am today and sure enough guess look what I found I'll take that that's a heck of a find I like that gonna make a little quick loop here head back to the car I am thirsty and, uh, and then I'm gonna call it good so not too bad for a quick outing not too bad I'll take it got plenty of gas money I got taco money too and I might get some ice cream so there you have it guys Ooh, I'm huge there a um, little bit of a different hunt uh, not your typical relic recovery hunt I do have one relic here that was in my pouch that I forgot about from the last hunt that I was at that I'll show you guys uh, otherwise you know all the times that you go out metal detecting aren't going to be the relic recovery type metal detecting events sometimes you just want to go out and get some exercise for a couple of hours and that's what I was faced with today I I had I needed to get out metal detecting I haven't been out in too long and I was just I was going nuts I had to get out and metal detect um, I didn't have any place lined up it's super dry right now so I've got to be careful where I go. I don't want to uh, ask for any private permissions because I don't want to damage anybody's lawns, um, which could make it difficult to, you know, have them ask you to come back or okay you to come back. So I just went down to a school. I didn't expect to whole, find a whole lot of anything except maybe a little bit of clad, and I didn't do too bad. So, you know, some days that's what it's about. And today was one of those. <laughs> so... Uh, and I am perfectly okay with that. Like I said in the beginning, family came first, and I was, uh, you know, in the situation where you've got someone that's off in college, you get a chance to see them. I mean, that that's, that's you know, this girl's the love of my life. I, um, you know, my kids, are, my kids are the love of my life, so I'll always put them first, no matter how much I like metal detecting. So, anywho, let's see what we got. That is what we came away with. Only got a couple of Zinkins out of that. I tried to avoid those zinc signals um, because I don't like them. Um, I got that one nail that if you take a real good look at that, the way that um, head is made there, I do believe that's a horseshoe nail. I may be wrong. I mean, I'm not a nail expert, so don't quote me on that. But that looks a lot like a horseshoe nail to me. Um, I got this in the very beginning. I can't remember if I showed that or not, but uh, it looks like half of a heart. If you continued on, you know, over to the other side, it would make a heart. So it was probably a pendant. Looks like there's hinges there so that the heart would open and close. That would be like a cool little mobile pendant. And it probably just, the whole thing probably fell off and this just got hit by a mower or snapped off or something like that because it wasn't horribly deep. Um didn't get this on film it's just uh it's an old earring just a junk earring see there's the post right there and it may or may not have had some little fake stone in the middle uh, it was probably cool when it was new though uh got several quarters i got nine quarters or you could say two and a quarter dollars even <laughs> yeah yeah i know i'm I just leave the comedy to someone else, right? I got the one dime that I found in the very beginning. I got five pennies, three of which I think I ended up having you guys along for the ride when I dug, and all of them were three of the 60s models pen, uh, pennies that I got, ranging from 69 down to 60. Uh, and 
The most interesting item of this day is probably this coin. Um, it's, uh, what was it, Andrew Jackson? I think that's what we determined that was. Yeah, Andrew Jackson coin. One dollar coin. I haven't found a one dollar coin in forever because I don't go to the places where you typically find a lot of clad right now. I've been trying to go to the places where you would typically have a better potential for finding relics, and that's what I'm mostly interested in. I really couldn't care about modern clad. But today it was, you know, it was fun to get out and do that again. Uh, this is from the previous metal detecting that I did, that I left in my pouch and forgot about. It's um, a lipstick tube from the George W. Luft Company in New York. And there's a name on it right here, Tangi. And I don't know if that's the brand or the color. It could potentially be the color. I'm not sure. Um, what is that? Is this something right there? Focus. Oh, yeah, that's just a... Versus George Luft and Co. New York. Uh, really cool though. You can see a little bit of the color still inside there. Work with me here. Um, see if I can get my flashlight. Let's see if it. Yeah, it's gonna cause some of the rolling effect. But you can see a little bit of the color inside there. Really cool. I like when I find stuff like that. So, you know, got one relic to show, although it wasn't from this outing. So there you have it. You know, a couple of hours, I am totally okay with that. Um, hmm. Taco money. <laughs> so uh, you guys get out there, you do some detecting, and uh, let me know what you can find. All, all the detecting days that you have aren't going to be find, finding relics and good stuff. Some days you just go out and find a bunch of clad and have fun doing it. And that's exactly what we did. So, you know, have fun, uh, enjoy the hobby, um, be passionate about it, and uh, go out there and, and um, you know, have some fun and show me what you're finding. Talk to you guys later. Hopefully, we've got some better videos coming up in the coming weeks. It's 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 been interesting here, so I have had almost no time to get out detecting. So we'll see what happens. Talk to you guys later.